In order to get replay mod in Minecraft Bedrock, you will need to download this add-on that can be found in the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. With this add-on, you're able to create beautiful cinematic shots all in Minecraft Bedrock Edition and I'm going to show you how to use every single feature. Alright boys, so once you installed this add-on and loaded it into any Minecraft world you would like to use replay mod in, here's what you need to do. You need to get either one of these blocks, either dirt, sand, netherrack or endstone either one will do the trick you don't need to have all of them so for this video i'm actually going to go ahead and use dirt and this is basically how we're going to access the replay mod menu so once you got any of these blocks the next thing you want to do is you want to decide where you want your scene to start so i'm going to start it from here and i'm going to right click and then it is going to open up this menu over here where you can control every single aspect including the position frames the camera the camera settings particle settings but basically in order to start creating scenes you want to add these things called position frames and basically the camera is going to follow your position frame so it's a little bit hard to explain so i'm going to demonstrate to you guys hopefully um you know if i demonstrate it it will be easier to understand so i'm going to add my first position frame over here and then i'm going to pretend like i'm the camera like my position is the camera and i'm going to make the next position frame right over here and then i'm going to go ahead and open up the menu again and press on the button that says add position frame once more and then i'm going to continue along so i'm going to pretend like i'm the camera and then i'm going to make the next one right over here add position frame and then i'm actually going to go ahead and make the scene go lower right over here I'm going to go ahead and put add position frame and I think I'm just going to include one more and bam that should do the trick. So basically I just made a bunch of keyframes and the camera will follow the path of the keyframes in the order that I did place them in. So it's really important to keep that in mind. But yeah, there's also many other settings as well. We have camera settings over here. This is really important. So you guys can pick the transition from each frame and also you guys could adjust the speed of the camera. It really is up to you. But in my opinion, the default settings are actually pretty good but obviously you guys could fiddle around with it and you know really just mess around with it until you find something that does work and over here we have the particle settings as well which is pretty nice so you guys could pick either one of these like i said in my opinion the default settings are actually pretty good but obviously you guys can go ahead and adjust it and over here we got pitch and we have the option to remove all frames so if you ever made like a mistake or something like that this is the button you would press however i'm not going to press that just yet and over here we have the player pitch so you guys could adjust the way your player is going so that's honestly pretty nice and last thing we have the player direction as well so you guys could pick in what direction you want your character to face in we have north south east west all these good options as well but yeah this add-on is really amazing because you could literally customize every single aspect of your scenes so anyways guys once you went ahead and created a scene and you want to go ahead and play it all you want to do is you want to press on the second button that says start camera and if we press on it just like so i'm gonna go ahead and hide my hud you will notice that it is actually making us a scene right over here this is absolutely beautiful and look how smooth it is as well it's not like jittery like some of the other replay add-ons this one is like really nice and smooth and it's literally going through every single frame that we did create it should be going down to that house right over there and this is just so beautiful look at that and you can see my character over there as well that's honestly pretty cool and then the scene should end off right over here here but yeah as you can tell this actually does work and honestly i'm just impressed and just blown away by how useful and how amazing this is so let's go ahead and mess around with the features a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and make us face west and i'm also going to adjust the speed of the camera which is right over here let's make it five i believe the uh default one is like eight or something like that oh yeah by the way if you want to make any type of changes to the settings you want to make sure that you press submit and then start camera once again and then it should start our scene and yep it is going way more faster than i expected and of course we are facing west as well so that is definitely pretty cool look at that this is so cool you know honestly this is like the best add-on for content creators out there so you know if you make minecraft bedrock videos i you know i really think that this add-on will help you out significantly remember boys the download can be found in the link in the description down below see you later french fries